Hello ladies, welcome to the Gear Up for the Morning Miracles Challenge. This is the first in a series of videos that's gonna help you to get to know our community and plug in. If you don't have it yet, I have something very special for you. It's a habit tracker that I know will help you in instill this new habit or maintain this important habit of spending time with the Lord each day. I'm going to explain this to you and take you through it. But before I do, I just really want to welcome you. And I kind of want to draw our attention to the greater community of women all around the world that desperately want Jesus and want to set aside time for him who struggle just like us in spending that time with the Lord, but also might live in households or in even communities and countries that would shame them, laugh at them, spit on them for putting the God of the Bible first in their lives. I am so sorry if that's your situation and I'm so grateful you're here. Thank you for letting us minister to you and thank you for letting us be your friend through this process. Your time with the Lord matters. It is worth it. There are people who can't pursue the Lord freely. If you can, I hope that you're squeezing every last drop of goodness that comes with that freedom. Do you have a copy of your monthly habit tracker yet? This handy worksheet is going to help you to apply all of these concepts to your daily walk. It's perfectly free. It's easy to find inside our Facebook group or in your email if you request it. Today, you'll be asked to fill in this worksheet with your verse of the month, your whys and whos, and your accountability partners. On the right-hand side, you'll see your daily habit tracker. So if it was the first of the month and you read your Bible, you could put a check mark right here. After you pray, put a check mark here and so on. This way you can see how your habits are developed and maintained. The Morning Miracles Challenge encourages you to get in the Word of God each day and pray as the first steps of a God-centered morning routine. We also encourage you to journal, take care of your body, which is the temple of God, and post a photo to your accountability group or on social media as a witness of your walk. Today, I'm going into a little bit more detail about reading the word, your temple, and your photo accountability. I've opened to Hebrews chapter four, and you can join me on verse 12 to learn why the reading the word of God every day is so important. For the word of God is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword piercing to the division of soul and spirit, of joints and marrow, and discerning the thoughts and intentions of the heart. And no creature is hidden from his sight, but all are naked and exposed to the eyes of him who we must give an account. I love reading that last part, sister, because even though we call upon Jesus for our salvation, we still need to give an account for how we spent each and every moment of our lives. Yes, I am here to convince you to read your Bible every day. If all we ever see from you is check marks on this column <laughs> and more check marks than would have been there if you hadn't been tracking it or hadn't been plugged in, that is a huge win for the kingdom of God. Speaking of the kingdom of God, there was a lot of spiritual warfare going on and the enemy would love to distract you with the online world. There has never been a harder time to focus on the Lord. There are distractions, bonkers levels of distractions. So if you need to be in your physical Bible instead of a digital version in order to stay focused on him, by all means, pluck out the thing that would offend you and get physical. Come on, get physical. No, 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 no. <laughs> Sorry, sister. I still have some worldly stuff in my heart. So I'm working on getting into the word every day too. I don't do it perfectly, but I am here to be checking my boxes beside you because I want the accountability, okay? 
I want to be in the word. I seen the difference. Taking a look again at our daily habits, you'll see prayer is encouraged daily, as well as journaling. And journaling is accomplished just by interacting in your teams anytime you're here reflecting with us. If you've been feeling overwhelmed because you think you need a specific exercise routine in order to take care of your temple, I'm here to interrupt that thought pattern, sister, take your hand and say, sometimes getting out of bed is really hard. Anything you do to devote your body to the pursuit of God is worth a check mark, okay? Check the box if you've done anything to help you. For some of us, that means running, running six miles, because that's where we're at. Some of us deal with things like fibromyalgia and lupus, and taking care of your temple in, would be something as hard as making sure you take your medications at the proper time. That can be a challenge as well. If you've done it, check the box. That's between you and the Lord, what it is that you need to do. So make sure you read the word, let your heart get discernment, then pray about these things, okay? Your photo check-in in the comments below the video, if you're on Facebook, you can share a picture that is a reflection of your morning time with the Lord. I hope you'll do it. You can take a picture of your, of your um, habit tracker. You can take a picture of your Bible open. You can take a picture of what your view was. You can take a picture of your feet on the ground, not under your covers as a win of the day. So we can encourage and cheer you on and praise God because of what he's doing in your life. Join us again on the habit tracker, looking at the left hand side. You're gonna see a chance to write your verse of the month. I wonder if you have one. Today, I would really like for you to choose a verse that you are gonna be either trying to memorize, I hope you'll memorize it by the end of the month, you get a chance to work on that. The next is your whys and your whos. This is a new thing for us to actually write names of people who you know are gonna be impacted with your morning time. Would you list a few of those people here? I think that you'll find that more than just yourself, others will be impacted by the time you spend or don't spend focused on the Lord in the morning. Your why could be something that's pressing on you right now, pressuring you in your life. The last box in your worksheet is a space to write the names of the people in your accountability team. Your accountability team during Gear Up is different than inside of our 10-day challenges. Here's instructions. Your accountability team is the lady above you. You can comment on what she said and then post your reflection below. This creates a beautiful chain and I hope that you'll participate in that chain and not break the chain by connecting meaningfully with the lady who has commented above you, okay? This is another way that we put others first. If you want someone to respond to you, then certainly please be responsive to others. So you've gotten a full tour of the challenge and what this looks like during our gear up sessions, and I hope that you'll stick with it. So. Thank you for being with me on this special challenge. And again, please, in the comments, post a picture of where you've posted your habit tracker. If you live in a difficult environment, then please let us know so we can pray specifically for you in that situation. Okay, ladies, this is Laura Gabriel signing off. I'll see you in our next video where we'll talk a little bit more about the morning routine and how to make it happen. All right, see you, bye.